Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printer here. In today's video, I'll be talking about URL converters in Flask. And that basically means the ability to pass arguments in any URL that you create. So before I get into that, I want to show you this cheat sheet that I created. If you are a beginner or an intermediate user of Flask, I think this will be a great reference for you. So if you want to download this cheat sheet, just go to the link in the description below and you can download it. So like I said, I'll be talking about URL converters. And uh, to demonstrate, I'll start with one. And the one I'm going to start with is the default, the most basic one. So I'll create a routes. And um, for this one, I'll call the routes uh, defaults. And then the URL converter part, or the part where I pass in an argument. So in this case, I'll specify the parameter. So I'll just call it something like um, name. So what I have to do is I have to have the um, the less than and greater than symbols. I don't know the exact name for those things, but they need to surround the parameter that you want. And then in the view function, so I'll call this view function default, uh, you pass in the same uh, name for the parameter. So in this case, the name happens to be name. So you pass in name there. And then you can say uh, the value is and then name. So when I go to this route and I pass in a name, I will get uh, the value is whatever I passed in. So let me start that up. Okay, so I will go to default and I'll pass in my name, Anthony. So you see the value is Anthony. And uh, it's a string by default. So in a moment, I'll show you the other data types that you can use. But uh, for now, it's just a string. So if I pass in like a number, I can pass in two. I can pass in 9.3. And it all works because it gets converted to a string. If I don't pass in anything, I get a not found. So Flask doesn't know what to do because it's expecting a parameter, but I don't pass in a parameter. So to handle a case where uh, the user doesn't pass in anything, you can use a default. So to use the default, you specify another route and you just put it above the one uh, with the parameter in it. So I'll say app route uh, default. And then uh, the name of the argument here is defaults. And then whatever I have as parameters, I need to pass in the default. So in this case, name, and I'll default it to pretty printed. So I'll save this and the server should restart. And if I go to this URL again, I get the value as pretty printed. But if I pass in the value, so if I pass in my name again, it changes to my name. So when nothing is passed in, it will go to default. And if I pass in something, then it will use that value instead. So the next one I'm going to show you is a string. So this one will be exactly the same. Uh, let's say string routes. And to specify that this can only be a string, I put string first, then a colon, and then the name of the parameter. So I'll call this name again for simplicity purposes. Have to specify the name as a parameter in string route. And I'll return the string is name. So now I'll go to string routes and I'll pass in my name and we see it works exactly the same. So that's the easiest case, but now let's see what happens when we want a different data type. Uh, the next data type I'll show you is an integer. So let's call this int route, int. So int and then colon and then whatever you want your parameter name to be. So I'll call it my num. Then I put my num here. And I'll say the number is my num. So I'll save that and let's see if this works. So I'll go to int route and then I'll pass in 50. But I get a type error. It's saying that I can't concatenate string and int objects. So stir in int objects. 
So it's actually converting this value into an int and Python won't allow me to uh, combine the two. So for this, I have to do stir my num to convert the integer to a string and then I can concatenate it. So now once I add that, I can see the number is 50. So the next data type that I'll use is a float. Float route. And then it begins with float colon, and then I'll say my num again. Or how about my float? Float route, my float. And then the floating point number is and then my float. And of course it is not a string, so I have to convert it to a string. So float route, uh, let's do 8.9 and I see 8.9 here. And one thing that may throw people off is if I do something like this, if I just do eight, I get an error because eight is an integer. So I personally disagree with this. I would rather this get converted to 8.0 automatically, but Flask doesn't do it that way. So if you want 8.0, you actually have to pass 8.0 or create another route that will pick up any integers and then you can do whatever you want there. So that's floats. And then the final one that I'll do is a path. So a URL normally has slashes in it, but what if you wanted to pass in an argument that has slashes? Then you will use the path data type. So app routes. So let's say path route and then path colon my path. My path return. The path is my path. Okay. So I'll save that and then I will go to path route. So if I say, this is my path, I see this is my path, but if I put in some slashes, subdirectory, another subdirectory, it picks it all up. So it includes the slashes. And the last thing I wanna show you is that you can actually combine uh, more than one. So if I do something like app routes, let's say combined route, I can start off with a string. So my string, and then I can add in an integer. So let's say my int combined routes. And then I just have to specify both parameters. So my string and my int. And then I can say the string value is my string and the int value is stir my int. I'll save that and I'll go to combine route. And I'll say Anthony and 293. And then I see the string value is Anthony and the int value is 293. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to have arguments and URLs as long as you specify the, um, the route correctly. And just keep in mind the different data types that you can use uh, so you don't uh, mix uh, a, the wrong data types. Like you pass in one data type, but you're expecting a different one in the code. So just be mindful of that when you're working on this. So that's it for URL converters. So like I said, just passing arguments and URLs in Flask. So if you have any questions about this, you can just leave a comment down below and I'll answer any questions. If you have any requests for videos, I'll uh, try to make any video that anyone requests because it's really difficult to come up with new ideas for videos. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.